Loki. This is the Cowley Steam Traction Engine, built in Ballarat in 1916. We're taking it for a run around the Sidesworks Arena. But getting a steam traction engine moving isn't as simple as just starting your car. While I'm a qualified boiler attendant, the man who trained me, Des Lang, has more than 50 years experience working on steam engines. Now this is what's called a manhole door. It's a means of being able to have you look inside the boiler for inspections and for cleaning. That seals the door so we can turn around and gain pressure within the boiler. Right, done. To make things easier, the engine is first moved out of the garage on compressed air. It then has to be filled with water. Okay, Till, turn around. What we have to do is to make sure that when we are using the boiler that we get maximum efficiency out of the fuel that we are burning and we are burning wood at the moment. Very nicely cut kindling. Yes. Okay, at the moment we've got a nice bright fire in our firebox. But the water is not steam yet, it is still boiling. It takes about an hour for the water to actually reach boiling temperature, which is when it's starting to make steam. So we need it to about 50 psi before we can actually move under our own steam. It's not time spent idle. The engine's moving parts must be inspected and lubricated and the manhole door tightened as the pressure builds. But what stops that pressure from building too far? There are two safety valves fitted on top of the boiler. If the boiler pressure increases above the working pressure of the boiler, those safety valves will lift and let the excess steam escape. The fusible plug is used in case we run short of water in the boiler. The fusible plug would melt and the steam would then squirt out onto the fire and put the fire out. To stop us running out of water, we can draw on a reserve tank under the footplate using a pump operated by the engine or a steam injector which draws water up and into the boiler. Now we've built up enough steam, it's time to get moving. There's two speed gears, we've got slow and slower. So maximum speed is about four, five mile an hour, about eight k, and the slow speed is real slow. We use the whistle to let people know that we're on the move. Des continually adjusts the regulator to control the speed of the engine while keeping an eye on the fire and the water level. Steering is a job all on its own and I have to keep a watchful eye on where we're going. At the end of the run, we need to prepare the engine for storage. What we are doing now is blowing the boiler down. We've finished using it for the day, so to get rid of the water and leave the boiler dry, we have to empty all the water out of it. The firebox has to be cleaned out and the remaining water drained. We use a water additive to clean the outside of the boiler tubes, but the insides need some good old fashioned elbow grease. And that will give us better heat transfer when we're burning the fuel. If we allowed the outside to build up with rust and not clean the tubes, you'd be burning a lot of fuel for not much steam. And that efficiency would have been vital in its former life. These runs around the arena aren't just for fun, they're an important part of the engine's ongoing conservation as a working piece of Australian history. Well All packed away, 
ready for next time.